Well, a very good morning. Warm welcome back to this free transmission. Neil here reporting in to you on Thursday, the 14th of March, still in my retreat at the base of Cleve Hill, about to go over to the track. The uh, uh, weather conditions here, I would say cloudy, little bit of breeze, uh, no sign of rain, although I think we might get some later on. And um, as far as the mark your card service is concerned, well, we're two days into that so we're at the halfway stage and so far the people that paid 20 pounds for the mark your card have had the pleasure of having three winners and five places on day one and three winners and three places on day two so not bad at all and i actually expect the final two days to be just as good or even better and if you want to get the mark your card at a discounted price it's just 10 pounds now all you've got to do is click the link below, the PayPal link, pay your £10 and my best bets and value bets for the remaining races at the Cheltenham Festival will be yours, emailed to your private addresses. Now, I'm going to give you a free bet today running in the 410, which is the plate, a race that used to be called the Mildmayer Fleet Challenge Cup. What a wonderful name for a race that was, unfortunately. Uh, in inverted commas, unfortunately, it's now called the Plate Handicap Chase. But it's still the same race in all other aspects. And there's a horse in here, you may know his name. I love this horse, Shake Em Up Harry. Obviously owned by the great Harry Redknapp, trained by a man who could be equally great, in my opinion. That's Ben Pauling, one of the best young trainers in the country. And a horse not trained too far away from here, uh, in the shadow of the village of Norton, Ben Pauling's stables there, and he houses some top-class horses. Shake him up, Harry. What a great servant he's been to both his owner and trainer. He was a winner here in January. Last year, in this very same race, he finished third. He is higher in the weights, but Ben quite rightly says, well, he's a better horse now than he was then. He's a 10-year-old. They've got a good record in this race, and he's, funny enough, trading at the same number, 10 to 1, with a few firms, all of them going five places, some of them going six. I think Skybet was six. But this is an each-way play. Shake him up, Harry. He's in the Grand National, and he'll be in the Topham, so he will run at Aintree. Will he get into the National? It has to be a doubt, and if he doesn't do that, he'll go for the Topham. But let's let him get on with his business today in the plate. Each way, shake him up, Harry. Come on, shake him up. And until tomorrow at the same time, it's Neil saying have a great day ahead.